Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here in this video. I've got your gameplay for the F7F3. This is a rank 4 BR 6.7 premium aircraft for the American Air Tech Tree. And this is pretty much an F7F1, except slightly better. So it is the same exact BR as the F7F1, as you can see down here, but it is slightly lower to repair. And it does have a better amount of things that you could equip to it. So it does have 11 armament presets, whereas this only has four. And it doesn't really matter all too much, being that these are not really going to be typically used. In my opinion, the HVAR rockets aren't all that good. And, you know, really it still has the 1,000 pound and 500 pound bomb loadout. The only other real thing that you might want to use here are the Tiny Tims, which the F7F1 does not have. Now, that being said, this also has a slightly better engine with the Pratt & Whitney R2834W, whereas this only has the 22W, and it's the R2800, so, well, the same exact thing, but it does have a slight amount bit less horsepower. So this has 2,621, whereas this has 2,444. So it's about, what, 180-ish horsepower, 177, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if I didn't get my math right, my apologies. Now, that being said, this is pretty much going to be the same thing. Slightly better rate of climb, mildly. Uh, has a slightly better top speed, and it gets its speed slightly lower, which is, in my opinion, a bit better. Now, that said, let's get into some gameplay here and see what we could do with this rare, but really just kind of you wouldn't know if you saw it sort of beast oh we have another f7 f3 somewhere he's right next to me that's really cool i think he's also got the purple ish camouflage it's kind of a shame because the purple camouflage i think it looks really cool but it is not really brought out unfortunately in this it's just kind of like purple on blue and it's muted at that but that said this does get an interceptor air spawn don't really know if it matters all too much because on this map, everybody gets an air spawn, so that kind of takes away some of the luster. And I am in a total up tier with an F-89B, so let's see what we could do. Now, this is one of those planes I actually feel very comfortable with when fighting jets. One, because it has a fantastic um, armament, but second, it's because this has a... Oh, wow, he killed him. Okay. Uh, but second, it's because this can pretty much go as fast, or at least somewhat close to as fast as early jets, um, insofar as just typical combat speeds are concerned. So, you know, of course, the top speed of this plane is not that of an early jet, but it, you know, when accounting for turns, acceleration, kind of all that jive, it's going to be pretty quick. Um, and that's largely because this was developed right at the end of the prop age, and at the beginning of the jet age, which more or less coincided. So let's see if we can take out this ME-262. Okay, I was hoping to catch him. Got a hit. Got a hit. That's nice. He's coming down. Favorable turn. Favorable turn. Start firing. And also, I've got tons of ammunition on this bad boy. Okay, watching my mini-map. I'm not seeing anyone coming close. Got another hit. Got some more hits. I think I'm only getting hits on my HMGs. Okay, good. There we go. Got a kill. That was a nice kill. I, look how much ammo I still have. Oh, my Lord. Now, this is probably going to be about the worst part about this plane. <laughs> oh, about. It's going to be the worst part about this plane, really any other plane, is that, um, you know, prop plane, is that... Um, you know, again, while you are in a combat situation, going to be pretty much as fast as a lot of, like, planes, especially the ME-262. I mean, I wouldn't really want to fight um, an R2-Y2 with this. I wouldn't want to fight a an SU-11. But when facing something like the ME-262, I mean, you can pretty easily control the battle. So I've got this Meteor coming for me, at least it looks like. Dive down a little bit, make it so that I get a favorable profile on this dude. And come up. Let's see. Can I get a hit? I can't get a hit. That was sad salami. Woo! But I got close. <laughs> okay. Now this SU-9... I keep wanting to say SU-11. Um, this SU-9 is probably going to get... Some, yeah, he wants a head on. So the HMGs are at the front on this plane. Nice. Got a crit. Oh, no! Not enough energy. 
to come down. I must have gotten hit by some flak there. Oddly enough. Oh, sweet. Okay, he's right there. Let's see what we could do. You know what? I'm going to probably want to go for this. No, he's... No. There we go. Got a crit. So, while this does obviously... Well, hopefully obviously have very powerful cannons, uh, the problem with them is that they aren't the most powerful. So, I'm obviously, I'm not getting uh, a ton of kills here. I'm not getting, like, nasty critical hits. Just getting some nice critical hits. Uh, they're, you know, the M3s are not really known to be the best cannons. They're okay uh, in that they're 20 millimeter cannons. I mean, I'd rather have them than um, LMGs. But right now at this point, my plane is overheating. There are one, two, three planes left. Got to go back to base and get back up and running in a moment, but not too bad. I have an assist. I have a kill. Mild damage due to uh, one of those rare AA hits uh, near, not even near their base, and um, you know, three ground kills. So, you know what? I'll accept this as initial gameplay because it's not all too bad, but let's see if I can get back up in the air and get a kill in this match, or in the next match, get a few more kills. Now, this is more like it. We have one, two, three, four, five of us on a team of however many. I don't feel like counting that as Tiger Cats. That's pretty good. So, let's see what we could do. I mean, Tiger Cats, regardless of if it's the F3 or the F1, uh, they have really good armament. You know, I mean, of course, the previous match kind of showed the limitations of the armament of this plane, but in general, it's pretty good. Now... I would imagine, let me go see here, well, at least I would hope that this guy is using his WEP, not really entirely sure if he is, but if he is, and I definitely am, then that kind of shows the slight increase of horsepower with my plane versus that plane. Doesn't really look like he is because I don't see the black exhaust coming out, but hey, who knows, right? It might just not be rendering. Now, that being said, uh, this is just such a, a pretty plane. I mean, it can just, oh, like, look at that. And like I said, I mean, this is one of those planes that can just dominate versus jets. I mean, so long as, of course, um, you know, you can catch up with them. But again, in typical combat scenarios, you are going to do pretty well against most jets. Okay, so we have the Tiger Cat's favorite prey coming up here. Uh, of course, this other F7, F3 is going to be going for him as well. But it is the JU-288C, the advanced, very fast bomber. I was going to say fighter for the German Air Tech Tree. It's a very, very good bomber. Let's start firing now. Got a hit. Got a hit. Got a critical hit. Not too bad. I might get the kill. Not going to follow him because those cannons are devastating. Oh, the other F7F1 will probably clean up for it. Not too bad, though. I'm hoping I get that kill. Ah, I got the assist. Whatever. Good job on that guy for having the slightly better, um, I guess, hit. So, who should I go for? I mean, I'm like 4,200 meters up. I'm going to turn down my throttle a little bit. Get some cooling down. Uh, kind of want to go for this Kika. Just because I feel like I'd rather be chased by an ME-262 than a Kika any day of the week. But this LA-9 is looking a bit threatening. So, and he knows it. Man, the turn rate on this thing is, or the, the roll rate rather, is much better than I remember. So, we have a 262 down there. Probably going to be able to catch up with this Kika. I've got slight a bit mount. Uh, more energy. He does not notice me in the turn. So, going around 700 kilometers per hour now. If I can hit this guy, he is a toast. Got a nice hit. That engine... The thing is, like, oh, wow, he is... Yeah, he's dead. Reduce speed. Oh, wow, I did not realize. Hopefully, my plane can handle this. Oh, that horn is coming down.
Okay, he's he's flying off. Um, but the A21 or 21s rather are dead. I got this ME262 coming over. It's gonna be my next target. Then once this Hornet circles around, I'll go for him. 262 is still a threat. He's coming up. I do not typically like to go after planes like that if they're already on fire. But in this instance, he was still posing a threat to the team, and thus it was a worthy kill. Hornet's dead. Wow. Holy cow. Talk about an efficient match. I still have three quarters of my ammunition left. And they have one person left who may or may not be way too high in the sky. Let's go check where he is. Okay. He's way over there. Let's see what we could do with him. That's probably about the only one, well, the, not the only one problem with this plane, but probably about the biggest issue with this plane is the engines overheat a bit. Oh, wow, I've got my flaps on. That's why I was losing speed. Um, but the engines overheat a little bit more than I'd like. So, not really a good thing for extended combat, but could be worse. Is this guy coming down? I'll assume not. If he does, I'll be ready for him. I don't think he is. So I'm just going to try to climb to space a touch. But, assuming that nothing goes on here, um, I can probably just say let's get into the next match. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably not going to catch this guy. I'd imagine the F2G1. The Super Corsair is likely going to catch him first. So that said, let's get into the next match, see what we could do. And uh, two kills, one assist, it's not too bad. It's, uh, I think that technically counts as three frags. So, you know what? I'll accept it. Not too bad, guys. Okay, we got some large bombers. Pretty far out there. Pretty much always going to be JUE 288Cs. They are... Of course, very fast bombers going around 600 kilometers per hour top speed, and they get pretty close to it just going cruising. Uh, that said, I did switch my ammo belts for my uh, my 50 cals because I just wasn't having the success I wanted with them. So, of course, I thought, hey, you know what? May as well change it. Uh, this 288C is a little bit closer. He's getting close to dropping range. Yep, there he is. So... Hopefully this turn will bleed enough speed from him where I'll be able to get up close enough to him. But, of course, those uh, turrets are going to be a nasty surprise. Oh, you know what? I'll go for this 288C up here. Do not trust that one. This one will be easier, less turret action against me. Start firing around 1.5-ish. Okay, got myself a nice hit or two. Got myself a crit. I am fine with this. And I've got enough ammo to spare. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, I'll take it. Could be worse. I still have three quarters of my ammunition left. Get a nice assist from that. Plus, ooh, this JU-288 down here. Uh, okay, yeah. We'll go for a bot. May as well, right? Bots are nice, easy targets, supposedly. Supposedly. Okay. So we have this A21R. I feel like I should go for him. So thus far, I've got an assist and a bot kill second in the match. That 288C over there is not going to end well. Um, he's just going to land. And I feel like he's going to really draw the match out later, as most JU-288C players do. Uh, I would like to go for this uh, bot, but of course, going for bots is, one, not conducive to great gameplay, but two, uh, it just doesn't really, I don't know, it's not really all too great in helping the team. So I've got this, oh, baby, baby, baby. Whoa, what am I doing? What am I doing? Two kills right there. 
Oh, yes! This is how we do it! Don't really see that HE-162 is too much of a threat right now. I'll dive down, get a little speed, have a nice profile when I head this guy on. And if you haven't noticed, I do a lot of head-ons. You know why? Because I like them, and I'm pretty decent at them. A lot of people, they are in the game of playing chicken with head-ons. I am not. And I do pretty well with them when I'm not playing chicken. So I've still got plenty of ammo. Let's see if these tracers do the trick. Uh, thus far, they are not. I was expecting them to set this dude on fire. He's gonna crash. Okay. Oh, got someone below, uh, behind me, rather. Mm. I way overestimated the turning speed. Oh, yep, I did. Either way, three kills, one assist, not all too bad. Again, I'm not in the... I'm not in the business of overextending my gameplay. I don't feel like making a... 20 minute video when it's not necessary so good job on that j7w you actually snuck up on me but either way thanks so much for watching of course there's the explosion please like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments below should i do gameplay like this should i change up my style how do you like my thumbnails either way thanks again i'll see you all on the other side take care everyone